Yeah, hi friends. Uh, today we are having Harsh Vishwakarma with us, one of our course uh, enrolled students with Gate Applied Courses. So, hi Harsh. Uh, uh, can you uh, give your yeah? So, brief introduction about yourself. Yeah, basically, yeah, sure. Uh, basically, my name is Harsh Vishwakarma, and I pursued my uh, B Tech from uh, from Madan Mohan Malviya University of Technology in 2020. And okay. from the past one year, I've been working in as a systems engineer in TCS. Okay, okay. And uh, yeah, I uh, this is my first time appearing for the gate. And okay. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Yeah, good, very good, man. So you are uh, as you said, you are a working professional and simultaneously prepare for the gate examination. Okay, good, very yes, good. Sir. So like you know, may I know like how uh, was your journey with applied team and how the courses uh, at applied helps for your preparation? Yeah, because you know when I start, I do did have the vague idea like I know I have to go in this direction. I have so many subjects because you know the gate syllabus is so much vast. And you know there is a little bit of fear in you like how you will be able to cope up with the course and it is so much how you how you'll be going going to you know in depth of every each and every subject. So basically, I had the vague idea like I I would be doing all these things and yeah, a friend of mine uh, suggested me like you know the, you, you can try a gate applied course is uh, very good. Okay. So I enrolled it. And, you know, uh, it did wonders to me, like, especially I started with the mathematics okay. because, mm -hmm. yeah, because when we enroll the course, you guys, you know, uh, give us the, all the timetable, how we are supposed to proceed with the syllabus and all the time schedule, like how are we going to complete each subject and each topic uh, till which date. So basically I followed that only. And okay. uh, yeah, uh, I started with the maths and yeah, the lectures were very good. They were very informative. And they really covered the depth that you really need for the, you know, cracking the exam like gate. Well, like, as I said, like you are working for the TCS, how you are able to manage your timing with uh, like, you know, working as well as preparing for the gate. Yeah, basically, you know, first of all, you have to set your priorities. Basically, you know, you can't just, you know, use it as an excuse. Like I'm a working professional, so I'll be getting, you know, I'm be getting less amount of time than all the droppers and all the, you know, uh, final year students. So basically you don't have to, you know, keep it as an excuse. And secondly, I used my time like a little bit because uh, this Corona pandemic and working from home okay. because, you know, this benefited me a lot because like uh, what I used to do is, you know, I, uh, I used to uh, finish my work prior to the deadlines. Like suppose I have a deadline of Friday and then uh, I used to you know, finish my work uh, till Wednesday. And now I do have two days of buffer. Okay, in which okay. I, you know i can yeah I, in which i can complete my course so basically i did this way and you know simultaneously you have to manage time like because uh, you know uh, gate is pretty much vast and you have to do your job you have to manage the work also so basically uh, i you know uh, in the morning routine like before the job like my shift starts at 9 okay. so i yeah i uh, uh, you know acquired 2 hours in the morning like 7 to 9 I quit that time for, you know, completing my course videos. And after my shift, like, you know, i would be, you know, pretty much going through all the uh, revision that I did and okay. in the uh, videos that I did and the problem solving, basically the practice test you, that you guys provide. So as well as managing your work, right? So when you have like started your preparation and when your syllabus has been completed, then when you were uh, uh, like started revision, because revision will also like, you know, plays a crucial role for the preparations. Yeah, sure. Because, you know, uh, I started a little bit earlier. I started in February okay. in 2021. Uh, so uh, I, you know, completed my course around, I think, uh, mid at the end of October, I think. Yeah, okay. I pretty much completed my course at the end of October. And after that, I started my revision, you know, all the subject type wise tests, all the 2021 test series okay. and all mm -hmm. the practice tests that were remaining. So I pretty much did uh, using this. And also uh, there was a phase in November, like my marks kept deteriorating in one of the, in the test series. Okay. They were, you know, mm -hmm. continuous on the deterioration phase. So okay. I, yeah. So in that phase, you know, I rewatched the videos in 2X and yeah, that, that's pretty much helped me in the revision. Okay. And okay. yeah. So I started my revision in November okay. and uh, my revision uh, kept going till the first phase of revision, uh, revision kept going till mid of December. And yeah, okay. and after that, I you know I started with my you know, full end tests. 
okay okay like, you know there are some uh, like you know uh, graph falls in the uh, uh, test you have appeared so how did you manage and how you overcome that and like you know like you might appear for many of the test right so on an average yeah. how many marks you scored yeah basically you know the first thing to answer your first question like uh, the ups and downs uh, will be there yes. you know we have yes. to understand because i was in the first time at in the gate uh, yes. i had a thought like you know ki uh, Uh, uh it will be uh, up and up like in the initial phases when i was you know appearing for the practice tests after tropic there there are practice tests in gate applied co- if you are a course and role student yes. so in practice test i was scoring pretty much above 75% okay okay and yeah in and in the videos you guys mentioned that you know if we scored above 40 it's a good indicator that you are going in the right path yes. so i was like yeah so it boosted my confidence like okay yeah my preparation is very good you know Very good, right? So after, as I said earlier, I mentioned earlier, like uh, in the November phase, that my marks kept deteriorating. They were pretty much on the, such a deterioration phase. Like in, I think I just remember, like in two to three tests, I got twenty uh, uh, out of twenty five. I got three to four marks also. Okay. So okay. basically, yeah, basically that was because of the touch, like uh, what the mistake that I did. Okay. Uh, was like you know I I lost touch with the mathematics. What I did was I uh, f- the first subject that I you know finished labels of was mathematics, okay. and after that I uh, moved to the system subjects, and okay. I lost touch with the mathematics. Mm-hmm. So that okay. that costed me so much. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, that costed me so much because you know these ups and downs will be there okay. because you okay. have to understand because I was not able to you know cope with it in the initial phases. but okay. after a amount of time you have to you know learn that after giving so much tests you are prone to you know uh, you, some of them are prone to uh, g- giving you less marks that is just normal uh, you, because you are not preparing for you know uh, just you know to scoring good in the test series the series are not just there to uh, you know <laughs> yes. to, uh, yeah to score 25 out of 25 Mm-hmm. they are yes. they are to you know improve your mistakes like where are you lacking where what are the yes. silly mistakes yes. because you know we we ourselves not realize how much uh, silly mistakes that we are prone to what kind of silly mistakes that we can do we ourselves don't know such kind of things and these kind of things are only thing that you know that will improve your rank in the final exam and uh, the marks as far as marks are is concerned uh, if i say like in the final uh, full length tests that i was getting I started with sixty three. Okay. Okay. And at the end phases, like in uh, at the end of January, the fi- okay. fi- full length and the final mock test that I was attempting, I was pretty much getting above seventy five. Okay. Good. Very good. Yeah. So every journey is like you know, like I like this one. Like you know, we have up, some ups and downs, and we need to like you know work out where we are like you know lagging and uh, which areas we are losing the marks. Okay. So that uh, it's really good. It's a good experience. Like you know, we as we need to overcome. And anyhow, all this experience might help you in the final examination. So uh, yeah, it's a good. It's a good journey here. So it's a complete journey. Like you know, how the team has been supported you and helped you throughout your preparations. yeah basically you know i was it, because i was the first timer with the gate i didn't okay. had any experience like you know uh, throughout my journey i did you know trial and error method you know let's try this let's try this method uh, uh, let's see if it works or not okay. and here comes the major important role the you know guide is provided by the gate applied team because i was uh, you know i had just called the mentors like uh sir uh, i'm having this and this difficulties like how okay. can i improve my marks okay. so mm-hmm. it is not like you know they give you know just make suggestions okay do this 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 and you will be pretty much on the right track they you know they just open up my whole data like what are the marks that i'm scoring what okay. are my previous marks like what are my marks that i just got scored in one or two tests just before that i gave and on the basis of that they give me very accurate and very you know good uh, suggestions like you know you can move in this direction or you can you know uh, do this this and you, you can you know uh, change your revision strategy uh, like this so basically uh, the main thing that gate applied you know uh, that i pretty much liked about the gate applied team is the uh, support that we get throughout the journey because you know this is very uh, because it is not much of a uh, what i can i say because it is really emotional ride we can say because <laughs> okay, uh, this okay. this pretty much puts a lot of pressure on you you know uh, because you are uh, facing one year because there are some of the uh, because 
it for me it was not like do or die situation <laughs> but yes. for others who are they are like they are they have dropped out a year so because uh, their situations will be pretty much really worse uh, about you know all these things so basically gate applied really uh, did a fabulous job in supporting the team and you know and also the doubt resolutions were very good they were not like you know we were getting replies far more two days like uh, uh, <laughs> you know uh, ask query just one day or they were pretty much uh, you know it, max to max three to four hours we will be getting the reply and very good replies like with the references and all okay okay yeah, yeah good good harsh okay so as you like you know did so much hard work and effort like you know to become successful in your gate journey so if you are going to share some suggestions for the future aspirants so, so can you share uh, some of your suggestions for the upcoming uh, batch students yeah uh, sure. for 23 yeah. yeah 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 basically first of all you know you just have to you know start early there is no second thought you know you uh, like i'll be you know collecting all the material and after that i'll be doing some research will i plan to get time to get or not if you are going for it just go with it and start right now first suggestion okay. is this because you know uh, even though uh, some people uh, say like you know it is not mandatory to uh, finish the course you know as soon as possible you can even finish at the last moment and still get a good rank for me it didn't work because uh, during my revision phase uh, i didn't uh, get uh, such good marks because uh, and it was november so i did had time to mm -hmm. you know cover up all my mistakes oh. now suppose uh, all these deteriorating marks i was getting around i'm getting around january okay and there is so much pressure around january like uh, exam is just uh, you know one month ahead and yes. i'm getting all these marks so just pressure uh, doubles doubles up so that's why i'm saying you know start early finish oh. your syllabus as soon as possible because it will build a base like oh. you know now you have a base to tackle the problems to tackle all the previous year questions and yeah attempt previous year questions you know uh, as many times as as you can because they really give you the idea like what are the you know what what you can expect in the yes. real gate paper yes yeah and uh, um, test series you don't have to be you know so much you know attached to your marks like i'm getting you know i'll be getting around 75 consistently throughout the preparation it won't happen man because you know <laughs> yes. this journey is so much uh, filled with ups and downs even the rank one i'm damn sure like he will he do had faced all these ups and downs yes. because it it's just normal it's just normal because uh, and basically uh, to be really frank and to be really honest like uh all the top 500 that we are getting all the top 500 rankers that will be there the knowledge will be pretty much same our knowledge yes. uh, will be pretty much same the main thing that uh, will you know lead to the good ranks or good ranks is the amount of silly mistakes that you will do in the main exam and that will be reduced by you know as much as a series that you will be attempting in during your preparation because it will uh, you know minimize your mistakes and uh, you know uh, and as soon as you can understand it like you know you don't get attached to your scores like i be you know scoring pretty much consistently above 70 or above 80 and all these kind of things you have to look for your mistakes as uh, you know yes. the more the more you make it is better for you i must yes. say yes yeah we, see it's everybody's case right so we have to learn from our mistakes we have to see where we are uh went wrong what kind of mistakes we are doing repeatedly then yeah. we have to like you know focus on reducing them that eventually helps even in the gate examination so yeah so thank you for uh, thank you harsh thanks for the suggestions so now uh, it's coming as our applied team so what kind of suggestions you might give to the team Mm, suggestions uh you know uh i think it's pretty much the best out in the market because i don't feel like you know suggesting and all because you have covered every domain like the support is pretty much very good the lectures are very good the question framing is really good and uh, you know test series are the participants the participation of students are really good so you can get a fair idea like where are you standing and uh, you know the uh, query resolution is good so i don't think there is uh, really such session required 
for the flight team so basically you know it's all the my thanks during my journey that goes to the flight team yeah thank you thank you harsh thanks for your support and feedback okay so we'll continue like our efforts and hard work to give the better services and support to the students okay yeah sure sir yeah thank you thanks for joining the meeting yeah thank you Pleasure.